All right, here's another video review. This is for Fans Toys FT55 Recorder, their version of a Masterpiece Blaster. I'm just gonna attempt to transform him into his boombox mode. Uh, bear with me as I go through it. I've done it a couple times, but I do run into some snags sometimes, so hopefully it'll go smoothly on camera. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is tuck his hand in here. So you open up this flap there, pull the hand out, push this in, and that allows you to move the hand all the way into here. And then you can collapse the arm, and then the arm tabs in on the side, just like that. Other arm, pull open that panel, flip the hand out so you can fold that panel in, and then close the hand like so, and then collapse the arm, and then it tabs in on the side, just like similar to that. Turn around the back, you can lower these two flaps on the back of his leg. And then you can push the whole waist to the left, like so. Now the head, I've had a little, a couple issues with my head, uh, but hopefully it'll cooperate here. So the head actually untabs and then this panel untabs as well. So you gotta untab the head from that. And I have this little piece that I think I might've broken off, but it, it goes right back in. So let me just put that back in there. And then you're gonna flip this piece around and put it back on top like that. Now the head, you're gonna face them that way. And then the head opens up fingernail under there like so and then this panel right here just folds up and then the head sits on the side of his arm like so then you come around here you can unhook actually you can flip the move the legs out and then you can unflip these two little pieces here there's a couple little tabs that I don't have great fingernails, hard to get at, but once you get them, it makes sense. That little piece on the top fell off again. So then this waist piece you flip up like this, kind of extend it up, and that allows it to rotate around. And it can rotate all the way to the front, and then you push it back in. and it sits just like that. That pretty much takes care of the upper body. And then we can start looking at the legs here. So what you're gonna do with the leg, you're gonna flip up this gray piece on the side, fold it like so. Then you're gonna unconnect or flip up this entire leg like so. You can flip this piece down, open this up. Then you're gonna pull the foot out all the way like that. It tends to get stuck right here. And then you can flip out this piece. And then on the foot, there's a little tab right here that you're gonna fold in. And then you're gonna bring this in here. And then there's a tap, this piece folds, it's very stiff. It's gotta really push it. And then you can rotate the, toe, the whole foot around and then jam it back in there like so. Uh, actually one thing, you do wanna flip this tab out before you do that. So take the Foot back out, flip this little tab out, then put the, then put the foot back in. Then work in here. You're gonna get behind and flip this front panel up. Bring that gray piece around to the front, and then you can close this up here. Then you're gonna just start unfolding a bunch of these panels like so. This unfolds here. This unfolds here, and then there's one other 
little folding piece right here. I can get my nail under there. Tool. Sometimes some of these pieces are tough to flip out. Usually don't have that much trouble, but there it goes. And then you can rotate this whole piece around. And one other thing you got to do on the back is push this little piece down so you got room for this to collapse in like that. And then you want to bring this piece up right here. Like so. There we go. And then you got that all ready to collapse into them. Oh, then you can close up this tab right here. It's going to help push, uh, hold all this together. Just like that. Then you're ready to collapse. Make sure this arm is still tabbed in and the head is straight down like that. And then you can bring this whole side piece up. Sorry, this piece in the back fell down again. This doesn't usually give me this much trouble. And then you can start collapsing this in. And you just want to make sure it all kind of sneaks in around his head, like so. You tab this in right here, and this is going to tab in to his side. I'm just going to line up all the tabs, kind of finagle a little bit, um, but it will it will all tab in pretty pretty nicely once you get it lined up. That was tough to get the hip in there, this tab. And then you want to come around the back, and it already tabbed in, but this gray piece right here needs to tab in to the top with the red piece. And then you've pretty much got the side done. You can fiddle around with this hip tab a little bit to get it to get a little bit more perfectly secured there, but move on to the other side. And it's not nearly as hard as I'm making it. It's just a little difficult to do it behind the camera. And like I said, some of the pieces get kind of stuck on you at different times. So you want to open this up again, pull the foot around, do the same thing where you want to flip this little tab up and then bring this back here and that real stiff tab again push that pull this out flip this around pull out this tab now remembered this time tuck that back in and then you can pull this panel up forward tuck the black piece around close this up in the front Oh, sorry, flip this piece down and out so that you have room to flip this around to the front, like so. Then same thing here, you want to just un-accordion all these tabs, flip this out, like so, spin this around. Again, on the back, push this thing piece down, um, rotate it around, collapse it, and then lock it all together right here. And then make sure this arm is tabbed in, and then it pull this piece over the front. This side's a little not as 
tricky. There's not as many pieces. Just make sure that you don't lose that tab. Make sure the arm's in. Get this piece under here. And then this tab's in right there. And then you've got pretty much all tabbed together. There's nothing to do in the back on this side. And then finally you extend these out and then pull this, just slide this forward as much as you can, flip up this under piece, flip these out, slide this forward as far as you can. And then it, it's a tight fit. You're gonna just pull and get it all to fit in like that. And then the last step, you just pull this back piece down to fill in that gap. And we did it. There you have him in his boombox mode, and it's really cool looking. I think they did a great job. Like I said, the transformation looked harder on video than it actually is. It's it's really not too bad. Uh, but he looks he looks really nice. He feels heavy. It all came together pretty. Not a lot of paneling, and I did forget to put that little piece that broke off on mine. But fill in that gap right there, and. There you have it, and this button right here on the left opens the tape mode, and you can push this back, and it can hold two tapes, and then you just press this to push that forward. So if you took rewind, put them in, it fits nicely, and you can pop them out, and then if you want to put an extra tape, you can push this back first, push him to the back, oh, keep getting jammed in there, push him to the back, and then if you took Acoustic Waves Frenzy and put him, I think they're compatible, you could fit the two tapes in like that, so pretty neat, and then just eject the one, Hit the button on the back to push him forward, and then you can eject the second one. So that's Fans Toys FT55 Blaster, and then recently I did transform the Acoustic Wave, their Sound Wave. So, and he's really cool. Just want to show him off with Blaster, Your really cool tape tape recorders, boom boxes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Sound waves much thicker and boxier, but still really and really heavy. Uh, Blaster's got some good weight to them too. So I just think they did a great job with these two. Uh, definitely recommend both of them to anyone on the fence of getting these guys. I will say that sound waves transformation a lot more involved in my opinion than Blaster, uh, but both have really nice end results. I have not gone back to robot mode on him yet, so we'll see how uh, difficult that is. But if you take your time and watch a video and go step by step, it's it's really not that big a deal. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you at the next video review. Thank you.